Welcome back to Bad Axe Bourbon. I'm Bobby. What do we have in store for you today? Well, I'm still on location in Redding, California, so I better go get my on location travel content kit. Be right back. I'm back. Let's open this sucker up, see what we got left. Got the old Freight Ranch single barrel, the Jack Daniels single barrel barrel select. Both good. Got the Red Breast, the Wise Man, and of course, Barrel Bourbon's dovetail is Bad Axe, right? I've done these three right here, I've done these three. We got these two left. I've already done this one on its own and I haven't done this one yet at all. But everyone knows that no know, everyone that knows me knows I love this. This uh Fred Ranch single barrel four grain. Man, they do it right over there. They do it right at Fred Ranch. I'm gonna put that head to head on this uh it's completely not bourbon. This uh, Tennessee whiskey. If you know, you know. I'm gonna put this uh, Freight Ranch single barrel, one of my favorites all time, this four grain single barrel from Freight Ranch. Delicious. I know you I had a video on it. So, like the very first video I did, my very favorite bourbon is uh, Stag Junior Bash 12. So I always say I could pick Stag Junior Bash 12 out of anything, right? It's my favorite. I put that head to head up against the uh, Elijah Craig Bell Proof C920. Of course, when it came down to it, you know, doing a blind, of course I picked the C920, blew that out of the water. So I'm telling you right now, this is one of my favorites right here. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna put this one head to head. We're gonna finish this off. I don't know if I'm gonna be here another day or not. So I'll. I'll finish this up, put these head to head. That's kind of why I brought them. I brought them with similar proofs and they're both, well, no, they're not both bourbon. One's bourbon and one's Tennessee whiskey. If you know, you know, right? I'll just say that if you know, you know. So let's get this started. We're going blind, Freight Ranch single barrel, store pick from Rockland Bottle Shop. Thank you, Rockland Bottle Shop. And uh, Total Wine, I actually got this one at Total Wine. Just happened to be there as they're putting these suckers out. This is a Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Select. See, it's got this uh, this little, uh, I don't know, Snoop Doggy Dog little chain. It's a playa. It knows it's a playa, so it's carrying the bling. So I'll go ahead and put those two head to head. Take these suckers out. Boom. Boom, we're going head to head. Close this sucker up. So, everyone knows I love this one. If you know me, you know I love this one. And if you knew me before I got this one, you knew I love this one too. From memory, memory serving, I think I like this a little better. But I haven't had this one in a long time. I had this one recently for a video. But, We're gonna go, we're just gonna go head to head. We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out if I'm talking crap again. So I bet I can pick this one out. This one got four grains in it. So, and it just, for some reason, tastes a little fresher. It just tastes a little fresher. You like taste the corn husk. I think I said that before. We'll see if it's still, still true. But uh, we're gonna find out. They're both good. They're both good. I'm not gonna lie. They're both good. I, I'm just, I'm curious to see who the winner is. No, this is a Tennessee whiskey, so normally you could Pick that out a little bit. This one's got a little bit fresher, taste a little, a little earthier, taste, fresher taste. It's just a different flavor, but I like it. I like it a lot. This has got that kind of, if I remember correctly, and the way Tennessee whiskey goes, a little bit of a tobacco-y, sweet, sweet tobacco-y flavor. But we quit yapping, right? Quit yapping. I'll get the sucker going, all right? 
we got this spray ranch is 126.92 proof. And we got this Jack Daniel single barrel, barrel proof. I kept calling barrel select. That's a black label. So this is the single barrel, barrel proof. So this proof is up. We got uh, 131.5 proof. This is last year's. I like the lock with my little uh, wrapper bling on it. You, know, you can see he knows he's good. You can't wear something like this unless you know you're good. You got some cred, you got some street cred. You're wearing something like that. What's well, great is this affordable. These are delicious, both of them, whichever one you choose. I'm still saying I can pick this out. Just saying, all right, let's find out, boom, boom. All right, let's get this stuff pouring. Well, this Jack Daniels right here. It's quite enough for that 131.5 proof. I got places to go today. these suckers up and we'll get going all right they're all mixed up they're all mixed up so I'm gonna go ahead and start sniffing these things like I said I like both these products a lot a lot this is bad axe I don't know if this is bad axe I had in a while but we're gonna find out they could both be bad axe I can I could just prefer one over the other right they're both good but we're gonna see if they're both bad axe I already know this one is but we'll find out if this one, if this one beats this one and this one's bad accent, you know, come on. All right, let's get into it. Oh, this, yeah, it smells familiar. We got, this one, see, this one smells like earth. It smells a little bit cleaner. This, oh man, come on, man, this is. This is too easy. This is too easy. This is the Frey Ranch right here. I know it. I know I'm saying that. I'm going to be totally wrong, but I'm saying it anyway. This is the Frey Ranch. Yeah, we got those uh, earthy tones, uh, kind of a dirty, not bad dirty, but uh, green corn husk, corn, but caramel. I mean, it's hot, a little bit of ethanol smell, but it's going to be there, right? But it's not bad. It's not overpowering for for the what's 126, almost 127 proof. It's not overpowering. Not bad at all. That this is good. It's really good. It's real good. It's real good. Oh man, yeah. See, see, this is the sweetness. Oh, I'm so, I keep saying it, but I I know it's it. I know it's it. I know it. I know it. I know it. It better be. <laughs> Be that wrong again. Oh man, dude, this one smells so good. Man, this one smells. This smells like more of my jam than that one. Although that one smells. That one smells healthy. <laughs> That's why I like it too. I like healthy stuff and I like the sweet stuff. Depends what kind of mood I'm in, I guess. Oh man, that smells good. Dang. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna start. I got taste in that. I got I got taste. So I got I'm gonna ruin this and this, but I don't know which one's which. So I'm gonna go left to right. Then I'm gonna then I'll go. I'll clean them up high a little bit and go right to left. Here we go. Here comes the burn. Oh, it's good. Oh shit, that's good. Shoot, that's good. Man, man, that's spice all over my mouth. Man, everywhere. The, the, the roof and the tongue coming down the back of my, my throat. Man, and it's still there. It's still going. It's fading off. In the, you know what? It's still there a little bit. Still fading off a little bit, though. That's good. 
man, that's good. That's clean. That's a, that's, it just, it tastes like clean quality. It tastes like someone's really caring about the product. That's what it tastes like. That's good. That's good. A little bit of, a little bit, a little bit of caramel, but a lot of that corn husky, corn, maybe not caramel even, like a corn pop, like corn pops, those Kellogg's, Kellogg's corn pops, and a corn husk. That's, that's kind of what that tastes like. That's good. All right. Cleanse my palate. All right. Let's get into this one a little bit. Give this one some air. See, the, well, see that one's still getting air too. So that's why we go back the other way. The proof smells about the same. And they're similar. I mean, 127 to 131, right? Four-ish proof, right? Yeah, I can smell. I mean, it's there. The proof's there. But it's not, like I said, it's not overpowering. Like it wasn't overpowering that one. At least on the nose, it's not. Let's see. Let's see. Which one is this? <laughs> this one's got that little, uh, see, I think it's this because it's got a little bit of that, uh, that, uh, tobacco-y, leathery, caramel-y note. This one smells sweeter than this one for sure. This one, this one's down with the sweetness, right? Yeah, this one's, <laughs> this gotta be this. Yeah, it's caramely. It's a little buttery caramely too, with some proof. I won't say I don't like, but I don't prefer as much. I know, I know it has to be the Jack Daniels. I, I don't get this in the Sinatra Select for some reason. I got it in the, I get it in old number seven. I get it in that, that uh, ball and bond that I got. It's like a nutty flavor that I don't get while I'm drinking it, but as I'm, as I'm done swallowing it, it kind of sets on the back of my tongue. And as I'm breathing out, I get that like a nutty aftertaste that I don't prefer, I guess. I won't say I don't like it. Well, maybe I don't like it. I, Cause I like the, the, the in the mouth, flavors i like the palate i like the nose i like the palate flavors but just that that after taste after a, i'm swallowing it is a little bit nutty and that's the only thing that i'll say about that is for me it's a it's not a huge negative but i would rather not have that but it's still good it's, the nose is delicious the uh the mouthfeel is delicious. The viscosity is nice. That's all good. Just that one little nutty, tobacco y, I don't know, saddle soap, leathery flavor. I think it's just the nutty flavor that, eh, I'd rather not have it. I would put it that way. I'd rather not have that little flavor, but that's a, a note of that I'm, I'm pretty sure this is what that is this is a note of the tennessee whiskey the jack daniel that's a note of it so let's find out if this is that while i'm talking all this crap i'm gonna cleanse my palate again all right i'm back it's going for the second sip on these two mm. that's so good so good. You now as I'm swallowing it and breathing out, though, I'm getting that nutty flavor again. That I'd rather not have. It's so good on the nose. It's so good on the tip of the tongue. Going going towards the middle of the tongue, palate. When it hits the back of the tongue and goes down and you, you get that acrobat. That's when you get that, that, I'll say flavor that I just don't prefer. It's like a nutty tobacco -y, saddle soapy flavor anyway that's that's where I get on that everything else is so good though all right clean my palate all right 
this one up a little bit on the way back. Yeah, see, I smell a little bit of more spice this time on this one, on the nose. But I don't get any spice at all on, on that one. Oh, let me see. Yeah, we got, oh shoot, we got a, a, a green corn husk and a corn pops on this side. It's like a, <laughs> I know you guys know what, what Old Spice is, right? That aftershave. I'm getting a little bit of that over here. That's not, I'm not saying that as a bad thing, but I got that in coming over here. Man, this smells good too. It smells clean, earthy. When I say dirty, I don't mean like dirt. I mean like, like fresh, like you pulled up some pulled some corn husks or plants out of the out of the earth out in the fields and you cleaned it off and there's that smell that clean refreshing smell just that fresh morning dew this this smells like a nice morning on a farm so it's this is a great smell too this is more like a candy sweeter smell i love that smell this is a refreshing wake up to smell this is like a dessert smell this is like breakfast and dinner. I'll, I'll say that. Breakfast and dinner. Let's get you to see. Taste this. Yeah. A little spicier now. Really, the spice is really pronounced now on that second sip. That's good. Now it's getting a little sweetness. Almost not, not like caramel though, like a like a hub above a bubble gum when I'm on, on the exhale. Nice, even spice feel on the tongue. Tip of the tongue, a little sweet, just a little dirty clean on the way back, down the mouth, on the back of the tongue. It's not burning. It's not burning down. It's not burning down here. It's just burnt a little bit right here, but not bad. It's good. It's accentuating the flavors of it. And that's what I enjoy about the proof Generally, like these, these two are a good example of having that proof and accentuating the flavors. But like I said, obviously it's not 100% because I've had some that are just proof to be proof. It's got some kind of flavors in it and it's just really hot. I'm not into that. Hope oh, another sip of this one. Yeah. Breakfast and dessert. Both enjoyable. I'm going to say though, because of that nutty aftertaste that I get in this one right here, that nutty aftertaste I get in this one, I'm gonna say I prefer this one. Let's find out what they are. Yep. Yes! I was right. I'm not yes because one one over the other. Yes because I was right. I'm picking. I'm getting better at this, guys. I'm getting better. Finally, I'm getting better. I remember what this tastes like. I remember what the notes are. Same with here. I can. I'm being able to pick out these Tennessee whiskeys now. Not bourbon. Tennessee whiskey. Anyway, hey. That's I'm wearing. I'm gonna go. I'm going. F Can't get over that nutty aftertaste. So I'm going four, four axes on this one, which is really good. Four axes because everything else is so great. Everything else is good. The nose, the bling, everything but that nutty aftertaste. But that's not all that's in that aftertaste. There's some sweetness in there. The other notes that I like, it's just that nutty part. Can't, can't get past it right now for some reason. This one got a good aftertaste. It's good going down, nice and clean, spicy. Um, you know, as I got a couple more sips into it, a little bit of caramel start coming out. Get that a little bit of spice. It's like e it's even spice though. It's, neither one of these is killing me with the uh, proof. The proofs are high, but it's helping the flavors out. And that's what I like about it when they. They're getting that right. And both, they're both getting that right with the flavors and the proof together. They're getting that right. And with that, I'll, I'll leave it there. We got four axes and we got 
Five axes is just bad axe, baby. Bad axe, right? I said it before in a video when I did this one on its own. Frey Ranch single barrel is bad axe. Thank you, Rockman Bottle Shop, for having this bottle for me to pick up. And thank you, Frey Ranch, for making this four grain single barrel. I appreciate it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out a lot for me making these videos. If you hit that like button and give me some comments, tell me what you think. What can I do better? What would you like to see? Would you like to see specific things head to head? Would you like to see a review of a specific thing? If I can get it, I'll do it. If you want to send it to me, I'll do it. So with that being said, what we see on this channel, sharing good bourbon with friends and family is bad acts. I'm Bobby. Thanks for watching. Till next time.